I want to show how you can create a hot potatoes exercise and have it ready for your classroom, your school website or even your Moodle in under three minutes. I'm clicking on the J match potato which makes matching exercises. I'll give it a name in the title bar and then I'm going to write some pairs of typically British food that the students will have to unscramble and match up. They'll need to select the words on the right which will be jumbled up and drag them onto the ones on the left. If I wanted more than five pairs, I would click the arrows up and down next to the number one to add more questions. And in fact that's it. If we want to use it on our interactive whiteboard in our classroom or for our website, we go to create a web page, choose one of those formats. Even quicker if we want to put it onto Moodle, we just click save as and we use the project file. But because we have plenty of time left, let's click on the configuration screen icon here and make it a bit prettier. We can change the wording of the title or the prompts or the feedback icons or words. In buttons it's important to take out the ticks in the navigation section so students aren't confused by being sent to a page that doesn't exist. Appearance is where we can add bright colours if we want to to the page, the background or the text. I'll just make it yellow just to show that I can. In timer we can set a time limit. I'm going to make it one minute. The other three tabs aren't always used, they are in some of the exercises, but we just want to get this exercise ready, so if we click OK, first to save it to use on our whiteboard in our classroom or for a school website, we go to create a web page. We go to save it as an HTM file and then we'll be prompted to preview it in our browser to test how it works. Note how I'm moving the words on the right over to the words on the left to make the pairs, and can you see that the timer is going underneath where it says matching exercise? I'll just check to see if I've got it all right. And because we still have plenty of time, let's upload it to our course in Moodle. With the editing turned on, we go to add an activity hot potatoes quiz. We can keep the same name or choose a, a new name. If we click on choose or upload a file, that takes us straight to the course file storage area of that course, where we can upload our hot potato we could have saved time by saving it as a project file. We didn't need to save it as the HTML file or the web page. Both of them work in Moodle and their scores are recorded in Moodle's gradebook. Now that it's uploaded, I need to click Choose. There are other settings on this page that we could look at, but we simply want it to work. We want our students to do it and have their scores recorded. So if we scroll down and click Save and Display, There it is done and it's still under three minutes.